Hi all, I hope that you enjoyed the last bit of figurative. I am going to roll a bit of it into the next month because there's so much to, to cover and I know that it's really important to give context to your paintings and one way to do that is to have a figure in them. So um, the charcoal that we've already studied is important as is the basic outline of our people. So head, body and legs and even there today when I was leaving my son across to leaving my son across to drama there was uh i was watching people just walk along the seafront and i noticed everybody always has a coat on so coat shorts jeans that's always a really good way to look at it, especially the shorts which is what we're going to do today i have a painting that i posted on social media over the recent while and it is sandcastle dreams i've zoomed in on that and we're going to do a version of that today so we're going to have a little boy and he's going to be on the beach and the way we're going to do it is in our sketchbooks to begin with so i have an outline here and this is our gesture drawing of that so if you set the timer um and you can do that along with me so if we start it at 30 seconds so 30 seconds starting now. So you want to do head, you want to do torso, arm, arm, well he has a t-shirt on there, and then the legs, those sort of pointy in ones, that's where the shorts are, and then two little legs down below. We're going to add context again by putting down the sand and his sand castle here, and then our C in the background three seconds and you can use your you can use the image that I will post of this to do your gestures I would encourage you to do one with pastel if you have it as well or even using the charcoal like we did in the last in the last video and right and the way that that that's our waves coming in there but we're gonna add in then afterwards but that is our basic outline of it it is quite large unlike the one where i was um saying showing the child in the forefront and then my sons and my husband right at the back they're little tiny figures this is quite dominant this is the center of the painting the way that i've zoomed in and taken that one so I'm going to paint this way for you today and we're going to do our gesture drawing again of the little boy. This is with palette knife but today we are just going to be using our paintbrush. And again, please do use palette knife as well if you want to do that sometime. So right in the centre really we can do it. So head and then we have body. We can do, there's a t-shirt really here he's got on. So as we t-shirt here and his little arm here and then there's an arm and an arm and you can nearly tell already that that is a little boy now he's looking out to see so I'm gonna put it's just the side of his wee face here and this is his hair there we go so you don't need to add too much detail but he's looking out this way to the sea and then there's the back of his wee jean shorts here and his two wee legs so the way that the legs are going is they're Stand around, it's harder for me. Sorry, what I'm doing this way. So, here, this wee arm, and then you can do a wee chin and things here. Thinking about like we did with the person's face when we had it that way, and you're thinking about where the line is on that. So, the way his is there is we have it really is that full side profile. So, face, and then this is head there. And then we've got our legs coming down here. And as we feet can be buried in the sand. And then we have our lovely big sand castle here. Now, because this is art, I want you just to play with it. And sand is quite busy and quite chaotic. I'm going to figure this little guy out here. So his hair is like that. It's really more the back of his head, actually. So maybe we should do it that way. Sort of on the side. Anyway. Not anyway, I don't mean to say anyway, but we could do as we bum there. There we go, looking out to see. And then here we have our sand coming down. There we go, and automatically then you see he's standing on something. 
And then in the background, we have all of our sea and horizon. You know how important it is to have a horizon there. And because this is uh, supposed to be Port Stewart Strand where we are, you can put a little bit of headland in the background. So take your time, use the image that you have to do that and get set up. You'll need your paints. Red, blue, yellow, black and white. And you will need a brush, a mixing plate and um, some water. I did grab a really large paintbrush and a small one. I'm going to use the large one and I was hesitant about whether to grab it because I know most of you are working quite small. But if you think back to the painting that I did in pouring month when I was standing up against the canvas and was able to show you how the body moves. If you go right back to last year, and those of you that are brand new, you're very welcome. If you go right back to last year when we were painting with the sticks and um, we were drawing with the sticks and painting with paintbrushes on the sticks, we were using our bare feet. Um, when you use a big brush, it actually does, you do have to manipulate around a little bit more and you can get so teeny and caught up with this. I think it's really good to do this. It pushes you. Um, it's also good if you're pushed for time and instead of setting the timer on to maybe do like a 15 minute painting, you can use this which actually will shorten the painting but will mean that you have got to look through an artist's eyes. You've got to be expressive and if you look at any of the recent works I'm doing, I'm very expressive and they're very abstract. This is a good way to do that. So let's start with our blues for today. Um, I managed to put this paint all over me. A good cardigan, which was very clever. So these, but remember if you're using a big brush, they do hold on to a lot of the water. Um, I'm going to go in for blue and white to begin with. And just a really basic light blue. So that is some blue and some, quite a lot of white. Good bit of water on your brush. Load that up and then this is going to be the very top of our sky. And remember everything that is in the sky is also in the water. Same way with any person that you put on the beach. There's always a shadow. Even if it's not a sunny, sunny day, there'll still be, you'll still be able to feel where the shadow is. We all have a shadow. Ooh, our shadow follows us everywhere. Um, and then right under here as well is where I'm also going to add in that light blue. There we go. Now I dip your brush again. And we're going to make that a little bit darker. So add some blue. And when you made it a little bit darker, you can use your little brush actually, because you're not going to, I'm using wee tiny pots today. Take some yellow. I'm using my lemon yellow for this. Roll that in and add it together. You'll start to get on the turquoise. And with that, we're going to fill in over the top of the blue that's there. And then we're going to bring it right down. I'm going to bring the waves right the way down here. But I'm going to make this a bit smaller down here. And if you find using the big brush, you just you really want to get the definition around here. Use your little brush to do that. I'm not going to because you know me. I like there to be as much movement as possible and as much expression. There's our first turquoise. So we had our really light blue, then we mixed our darker blue and added in a little bit of yellow to get the first of our turquoise. And what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna add more white to it. Remember, you always need more of the lighter colors to make something lighter and less of the dark colors to make something darker. And we're taking in, the way that this is here is there's a little bit of a sand bank there too. So there's a nice darker shade around there. You can choose whether you want to fill that in or not. But look at that, the big brush just makes it so big, expressive, and it's quite dramatic actually, because this is called Sandcastle Dreams. And I wanted it to be a wee bit melancholy, which I think I achieved actually quite well. 
it was just filling in around and there remember that's the flag of your sand castle there I'm going to just make a darker um, shade of that turquoise too now it'll be harder to get it darker again but I'm going to add some blue see where that takes me so adding some blue to that turquoise just to get a darker shade you know that that all adds to the whole feel of it and the layers and apply that down add it in fill in your little areas where it could be you could even line the very if it's very dark that you've got you could line your horizon with it and remember you can still have some over here even if you're going to paint over that as well so clean your brush again now we're going to make a brown so i'm going to actually let that sit i'm going to make a brown using my little brush so you need yellow you need red and you need blue mix those three together like your red is really quite dominant so i mean about the darker colors so i'm going to skip a bit of that over to here roll it over you're making your brown so it's red blue and yellow here's some yellow now that'll come up much better so this is for our sandy color take a wee bit of that in play about with it your brown might be really really dark brown if it is take it up roll it over and add more yellow to it you want this to be the yellowy tone of sand now i'm actually going to use that without adding any white to that so clean your brush now and then scoop up that brownie color and we're going to put that straight on everywhere here right and then you're going to let it dry my brush is quite wet and there's a bit of a sand bank in there so you can add that on there and here there we go that's our yellowy tony color i'm going to add a bit of that into the headland here as well it's actually lovely look at that great right make a darker shade of your brown mine's quite watery because i've cleaned my brush and it's holding a lot of it so just make your darker brown i'm going to put a wee bit more blue in that play about with your browns the kids at the easter workshops i was teaching them about browns and they it, it's frustrating for people to learn so i'm going to take a bit of white into that brown no matter what color your brown is what shade it is whether it's more yellowy you're going to take that whatever it is you're going to put white to it and you're going to add it on different parts here too now the sand castle is going to be darker for me so this dark brown is going to be the start of the sand castle even though it might be a nice smooth sand castle it'll still be a wee bit darker than the rest of the sand and remember where the person is where the figure is you want that bit of shading You'll probably end up using a bit more shading than that anyway but here we go and then that dark brown with our headland lovely clean your brush again just to get a bit of the white off it but your brown that you have your brownie gray this color here add a little touch of black to it and again mine's still quite watery oof nearly gone too far the other way so bring your brown back in if you can that's your three colors red yellow blue Oof. let's see yeah right and with a bit of black in it so you're adding black to whatever you've got now i've had to bring it back up to scratch and um, because i had overplayed that there but this is going to be for the sand castle can you see that so this is going to be here for mr sand castle is it's like that the screen is dirty there we go and same with the sand bank and then our shadow here now big brush and doing a person can be quite scary i'm going to do this for the hair to begin with and I'm going to just commit. You know, I'm always telling you to just commit to it. 
There we go. There's the hairs on. There we are. And I've actually used, because I wanted this painting to all be the same palette, I have used a lot of the sand colours in the person, in their uh, skin tone as well. So for the shadows underneath their arms, I'm using that nice dark brown as well. And the same with the legs, with the separation in their legs. And just one line straight down using your big brush. Good work. Now, you can dab whatever you have off there and add a little bit of white to your brown and a little bit of red just to get a bit of the pink tone, skin tone. You're just, your skin tone is really on the, go back to what we had with our under layers, our base layers of the peaches and the blues, but also just play with it. You can always dry, paint over it. So this is, I've added white to that brown, that dark brown, and I've added a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow. And that's going to be the skin tone here and the arms, both arms, and then on both of the legs. So there we have the wee hands are in the pockets and the wee face. There you go. I don't know why that is so, that's a bit better. Cloudy looking, there we go. And the same with his shorts, they're just a darker blue. So there's a reason we haven't done our dark blue at the very, our blue at the very top, is because I want you to make a navy blue and then make a really light version of it. Big brush again holds a lot of the water. So go for blue with a tiny touch of black, tiny, tiny, tiny. Get your nice navy color if you can. Blue, tiny bit of black. Get that nice navy color and add in the shorts. It's quite a solid uh, color of shorts but then you can bring in your lighter blue from earlier and add in a wee mark where the shorts separate there there we go and then with that um, navy blue mine's quite watery yours probably be the same if we're using the big brushes get it scooped up with a good bit of white there we go roll all the color off your brush even if some of those browns go on don't worry I want you to think about the harmony, think about everything in the painting all working together. And then you're going to add that on there. So this is your navy blue, which is blue with a tiny bit of black and then a lot of white. That is what we're going for here in this nice moody figurative piece. You're bringing down, you can blend the two together or you can keep them um, depending on your style. You can keep them separate and then whatever's in the sky is also in the sea. So just let that roll over. I'm going to put it around so I'm sort of defining with the figurative, just defining where the, the outline is. That will really help you put the context there. Same with here, but also it's okay to have all these little bitsy pieces. And lastly, we're going to make a purple very quickly. Let's see, red and blue mix them together and then add some white so purple with some white i think i have a bit too much white so i'm going to darken that down red blue Ooh, i think i must be out of my blue it's a very blue heavy painting isn't it so purple and what we're going to do here is add in just wee bits of detail in the back of the t-shirt and then in the water there we go there's even a little bit on the sand castle and here on the shorts. So that's your purple. And then lastly, you can use your little brush for this. You can clean your big brush really, really, really well if you're able to. Mm, not really able to, but I'm gonna scoop it right on there. You know what I like to do to finish them off. And this is for the t-shirt because the t-shirt is pure white. That's what we're going around where the purple is. There's the t-shirt and then lastly, Keeping the figurative really, really standing out here, we're going to put the waves right at the feet. And there's the wee t-shirt. And there's always a few waves in the background and even you can have then some in the sky of our clouds. Well done. Um, you might need to stop and start that. That was quite um, a whizzy one there for you, but I really wanted you to have this so you could have it for April. And I look forward to seeing you in May. 
and just show me your I love seeing what you've worked on as well at home it's really important for progression for your mind and for you just to get to know yourself and what it is you like to do and like to work with in terms of the arts and well done that's your little boy on the beach